So hello everyone, Grossy here, welcome back. Today we've got another episode of the Unhuntables podcast series with Christopher. Hello! Uh, today we are hunting through 5p coins. Um, the plan is to hopefully try and find an NIFC coin not intended for circulation. Um, and along the way we might find some uh, territories, uh, world coins, whatever else it may be. Um, Fingers crossed. I'm trying to think what world coins would actually be in there. Maybe like a US dime or something. Um, Maybe. Yeah, but um, can't really think of any others, actually. It's only right my brain to think if I found any world coins in the five Ps before and I can't think of the top of my head anything. Maybe we're one of the few countries who are silly enough to make a stupidly small-sized coin. <laughs> yeah, there's something like there's some <laughs> Swedish and Norwegian or ten, 10 ore coins that are, again, quite small. There's something, isn't it Netherlands 25 cents again? Is quite a small little coin. Or 10 cents. I don't know, but the Netherlands use the euro. Well, I mean, with their pre-euro coins, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I can't remember. I don't know, to be fair. There we go. But yeah. We were talking about something I was going to wind you up a little bit about on my half of the video, which I said mm. we'd save for your half of the video. I've got it here when we um, were talking about this. Yeah. Whilst we're off at the Royal Mint... There was something that neither of us were going to buy, and one of us caved. Yeah, I'm holding it up to the camera. It is the Great Seals Henry VIII token. It's a seal. Yeah, but it's not a the seal. Henry VIII Great Seal. Yeah, but it's not a seal, is it? Because a seal is a thing in ink that you stamp on an envelope. Or another. Yeah, it's not, it's not really a token, though, is it? Well, it is, effectively. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's uh, they're, they're like a token. In, is it a token? Because do, do, do tokens not have some sort of value. Like an arcade machine has an arcade token has got a a one p token on it. Maybe I, I reckon that it's on New Mister Exonumia though. Yeah, it'd be it'd be Exonumia, of course. Yeah, but anyway, I, I said I wasn't going to buy it. I definitely paid more than I should have done for it. Mm-hmm. But what was it what, what was it that changed your mind into purchasing it rather than as I did not? It was the fact that it's actually a bit bigger in real life than I thought it would be. It's pretty much I think is it the same size as a five pound coin? I believe so. Um and the prospect of getting it graded by NGC. There we and go. That was about it. Was Just... it? <laughs> I, I, I managed to talk myself out of it because I collect coins, it is certainly not a coin and I was trying desperately not to be <laughs> persuaded because the one thing that I think is really cool about it is because it's got that matte proof finish Yeah. so instead of having the the um, uh, reflective mirror like background fields it's got uh, that, that matte finish to it which um, I think looks really cool, looks really nice but uh, I did manage not to purchase it yeah and it has limited edition presentation of 10,000 um, yeah, it's surprising because the whole yeah. series doesn't seem to be selling very well. They've still got lots of um, the different varieties of it, um, except for, I think, whatever the biggest gold, um, was it five ounce that they did, uh, which did sell out, but it had, that, that had very, very low uh, limited run anyway. But um, no, I think, again, it's, it's weird that, that this has come out just after cancelling the British Monarch series. I think you're not exactly endearing your customers into purchasing this thing by cancelling a monarch series and starting another effectively potential monarch series should they go on to make more of them which i think was their original plan but given the sales figures i'm not convinced it's going to be yeah do you, do you reckon maybe they've not had the time to get it signed off as a coin or do no, you think, I think that... it's i think i think they've done it purposely i think i, I wouldn't be surprised if they've gone right We've just cancelled the British Monarch series. We need to do something a little bit more interesting. How can we do something differently? And the idea of doing the Great Seal as as this sort of token medal, whatever you want to call it, but not being a coin, they might have thought is different and interesting enough that it would sort of spark a bit more interest. Yeah. But as I've said multiple times, if, it, if they'd split it in two and turned it into two five pound coins or whatever, even a, a double coin blister pack, 100% I'd be buying it then, but um, it's yeah. not a coin so I don't have to buy it and add it to my collection. <laughs> As I said, I just like the prospect of getting it graded because the Coronation Medals, did you buy one of those, the Coronation Medal, when we went to the Mint? Uh, did I buy one or did we get one for free as part of the tour? No, we, I, we had to buy them I think. Okay, I, th I, I did then buy one, yes. <laughs> 
Um, because <laughs> I got that graded and it graded quite well. So I'm hoping that oh. this will get a nice grade. Because NGC yeah. will also grade sort of tokens if they're official mint tokens or medals or you know official things so if they if they were to do another one now if they released i don't know the great seal of queen elizabeth the first would, would, would you then have to buy that, that one could too? become a bit of an issue <laughs> <laughs> um i think that i would have to stop myself but whether or not that actually happened and i did stop mm. myself is a different story <laughs> oh dear and I think it's worth pointing out that I'm not disparaging everyone that has bought this. I totally get there are some things that uh, tickle people's fancies in different ways. So you might uh, you might uh, really like the history of it or the uh, the artistry of it or the fact that it's a seal. That's totally cool. I'm giving Grossi a bit of a hard time <laughs> because uh, he was so adamant that he was not going to buy it. Um, and then to see that total do a total 180. It's, the, it's when you have it in your hand. With it. It's the same as when you're in, I don't know, in a restaurant. If you look at the food on the menu, you're sort of mm, umming and ahhing. But then when you go up, if they've got a buffet, you're like I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. You know, when you actually see it in the in the person, <laughs> <laughs> it's a dangerous place that gift shop, isn't it? It really is. Oh, honestly, you need, yeah, you need to be careful. I mean, I, I, can, I can't really talk because um, that they have their <laughs> new fridge magnet range, which is going to cost me an arm and a leg because they've taken. Um, each of the new definitive designs and put them on their own unique fridge magnet plus one with the whole series of it. So I know what I'm like. I love my fridge magnets um, and my fridge is more You must be at a point where you're going to have fridge. to actually buy another fridge just to yeah. combine it all the magnets. <laughs> Find some metallic services I can pin up to stick my fridge magnets yeah. to. Get some like um, uh, metal frames that you can put on the wall and just stick the fridge back <laughs> stick them to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Get some whiteboards, not for writing yeah. or making notes and just for sticking my magnets to. <laughs> yeah, but no, I think overall it was, it was a nice trip. We saw lots of subscribers, didn't we? We did, yeah. I, as I said, And some uh, of them even recognised you, Gracie. Do you mean some of them even <laughs> recognised me? <laughs> no, I think it was, um, it was great to see people. It's been the... Uh, most amount of people that have turned up that we sort of know or, or they know us certainly um yeah uh for a long time probably since like 2020 to be fair yeah i think part of that is it got to be the amount of um notice that we we gave the when we or the dates we were going down it led more people to be able to plan and come and say hi yeah so hopefully um very soon we can start talking about dates that we've got uh, booked for uh the trip potentially this month to get the rnli 50 before it changes again yeah um I do get a bit concerned. A change, a change within a month is 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 quite a is quite the quick turnaround, isn't it? It is, but it means that hopefully the whatever the fifty p was that we just struck, Team GB. <laughs> hopefully that will end up being. Oh no, sorry, it won't be that one. It will be no, no, the, the, the RNLI. Hopefully that will end up being yeah. a, a rare strike your own. Possibly, but then again, people get aware of this, and that that, that then informs their behaviour. So that they are going to go more often to go get more of them. People that are local, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. It's a bit like, is it the? Um, there are more 2018 Isaac Newton strike your own than 2017 ones. Oh, because obviously everyone thought 2018 ones. It's yeah. a different date on the coin. It's the only way to get it. <laughs> um, get get as many tours done as you could. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm still waiting for those vintage figures. Oh yeah, so the Atlantic salmon is is going a little bit nuts at the moment. I see them selling for around fifty pounds. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, the market determines the value. It's all supply and demand, isn't it? And it would suggest that there is either a high demand or a lack of supply. Probably a bit of both. Um, yeah, I think that. I'd imagine, well, it's difficult because the fact that there is such high demand for them when they're in circulation would suggest that people who are interested in coins, what am I trying to say? There's a big point and I how to put it into words. Say you're an avid collector, you're yes. never going to be the, per uh, no, sorry, say you're an amateur collector, so not an avid, an amateur collector sort of a a collector who doesn't buy any brilliant circulated packs but you just have an album you know you get your coins in circulation you're never going to be the person to you know do massive coin hunts you know 
you're probably not the kind of person who's going to necessarily spend fifty pounds on the coin. Um, you're about six foot tall. Um, <laughs> you don't wear shorts. No, but I'm like just sandals. I'm just describing. So there's there's probably people that are, are like that, right? That literally just collect coins from their change, basically. Yeah. Then there's collectors who would pay a fifty pounds for a coin, but are probably cycling through a large amount of coins, and I'd probably put both of us into that category. Um, and the way I'm kind of interpreting it is the fact that there are probably very, uh, for want of a better word, intense coin collectors <laughs> that are paying yeah. so much over the odds for face value would make me think that they are having a hard time getting the coins. So there is maybe a lack of supply of the coins. Therefore, okay. the mintage figure might actually end up being low. Or it's just that they've only... Well, you know, obviously released five hundred thousand, which I think there, there's sense. there's always there's always a bit when a coin first comes into circulation, there will be people who they don't care how much it costs, they just want it and they want it now. Yeah. Um, and it, it my 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 thought is more: Do I think in I don't know five years the twenty twenty three Atlantic salmon will still be worth at least fifty pounds? It's hard to say without knowing what the mintage figure is, but I'm trying to think how low the mintage figure has to be for it. Because again, as we've talked about in my half of the video, the the uh, the bees and the salmons potentially are going to get minted for circulation for many many years. Yeah, we could end up with the salmons being quite common, but there being the key dates within them. But the key dates is that really good? How low does the mintage figure? <laughs> the have? thing the is, the figure have to be the fact that people are going nuts about getting their hands on salmons when there's only rumoured to be 500,000 if that yeah. 500,000 actually then materialises that's true like people but have demonstrated you, that you, that number is if enough if you, for them to want to pay more do you know what I mean Yeah. if you flipped it on its head though and you said um, if, if they hadn't changed the definitives if this was just another shield 50p for 2023 um, that happened to have a mintage of half a million do you think that would still be as valuable despite all the other shields that are in circulation beforehand? Because also you've got to, as you pointed out in your side of the video, <laughs> you've got to remember that the brilliant uncirculated one has a privy mark and the circulation one doesn't. Yeah, yeah. So I think that that also contributes to it slightly, um, but you can't just go and buy it for ten pounds or, or you know thirty quid for from the annual set because obviously that's, that's got a privy mark on. Um, so I guess that probably contributes a little bit. I reckon that if mm. if that did come out though, saying there was a new Shield 50p that has a mintage of 500,000, realistically, 10, 20 quid? I think the fact that it's a new coin, first year of issue, without the privy mark, rumoured 500,000 mintage, it kind of just all contributes yeah. together. And there, there are other people suggesting that the, 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 the mintage figure is going to be less than that of the Kew Gardens. Um, yeah. That could be the so case. my question is, how, how low does a minted figure have to get so that this Atlantic Salmon for 2023 retains a value of at least um, 50 Again, pounds? The fact if it's that... half a million, I don't think it's going to keep stay at half a million. Yeah, uh, but the, uh, 50 the, pounds the fact that people are paying 50 pounds for it without knowing <laughs> just on a rumour that it's going to be 500,000, if it actually is 500,000... But but if it comes you know. out and it's 50,000, that, that might be end up as a good purchase. Yeah, that's true. But... There's no way it'll be fifty thousand. I just that that can't happen. Surely not. I mean, it might be, but I just don't see it. <laughs> I mean, it might be. You're just gonna, <laughs> just in case it is. Well, no, only because if you look at the Royal Mint re annual report, it shows that there were, what was it, sixteen or so million coins moved from the long store to cash centres between, is it March twenty twenty three and March twenty twenty four? Okay. So that would have been probably 10 million coronations which we think is going to be 10 five, million. 5 million coronations oh sorry 5 million coronations probably lots of 2020 shields which we've seen a lot of those coming out now and then oh but unless unless oh. there's 5 million oh that could be a shout what if there's 5 million coronations yeah. 10 million 2020 shields were just pulled out of the long store. Yeah. And then 800,000 salmons. Because that makes up oh, the 15.8 yeah. or 15.9 million. See, 
800,000 is, is definitely not holding that value, is it? <laughs> no. I, I mean, you're probably still talking over face value for it at 800,000. Um, again, probably a tenner. There's not a million miles like off the 2017 Shield, though, is it? 800,000. Was it 1.2 million 2017 no, 1. Shield? 1.8 million 2017 Shield. Oh, 1.8. Sorry, I'm yeah. misremembering my numbers. It would be closer to like the oh. Olympic football, but obviously it's a definitive, not a commemorative. And I think the there Olympics have a bit of a premium anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, we will have to wait and see. And potentially <laughs> in a fortnight's time when we sit down to do our next Unhunted yeah. Wars, we might even know the answer. I know. I mean, if the mintage figures have come out, the next Unhuntables video will not be the first time you see that on this YouTube channel. You'll be hearing about that <laughs> a lot sooner with my reaction. <laughs> there we go. But uh, yeah, um, that being said, let's get back to the five Ps and see what we managed to find. Right, so we've got four territory coins, three from Jersey, 2016, 1998, and 2008. We've also got Isle of Man, Tower of Refuge, which is pretty cool, from 2014. And then we've also finally got a 2010, which is just a shield, but maybe some sort of die clip or planchette clip. You have to let me know whether you think that is some sort of um, error. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, go and check out Christopher's part of the video as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.